Hey, all you lovely people. Today we're going to be talking about discount and markup when, as we're looking at these consumer math problems. As you've noticed, I have the Desmos calculator up over here. We're going to look at a little calculator trick when it comes to percent of a number. So say I want to know, well, what's 55% of 600, right? So there's a lovely trick in your calculator that will do this for you. Really, when you're doing percent of a number, you, the, the real process is that you convert the percent to a decimal, so 0.55, of is multiplication, so you times 600. But in your calculator, you can hit 55, the percent sign, and it brings up percent of, and then you can literally type in your 600. And 55% of 600 is 330. So this percent of a number will become very handy as we're working through discount and markup problems. So let's dive in and see what I'm talking about. Our word problem said, Roberto is buying flowers for his wife. He finds an advertisement for a dozen roses for 20% off the original price of $49.99. How much will Roberto spend on the roses before tax, right? So he's going to get 20% off of $49.99. Well, in order to figure out how much is he going to spend, what is his discount? Remember, discount is subtraction. We have to first figure out, well, what's 20% of $49.99? So we're going to go to our calculator. 20% of $49.99 is 9.998. Well, we're dealing with money. So 9.998. This is a little technical, right? There's no money less than the penny. So we need to round. The 9 looks at the 8, and the 8 tells the 9 to bump up. Well, that becomes a 0, which bumps that up, which bumps that up, right? So $9.99 with this little extra is really going to become $10. So how much, so his discount is $10, but that's not the answer to this question. Now, if the question said, how much does he save? He's going to save $10. But the question is, how much does he spend on the roses before we calculate it in tax? So we're going to take our $49.99, the cost of the roses, minus the $10. And we can do this mentally. Roberto is going to spend $39.99 before tax. And we'll talk about tax a little later, right? So percent of a number, super handy when we're looking at these types of problems. Well, what if we're talking about something like a mark up? So when we mark things up, right, usually what happens with a mark up is that a company will make a product, but obviously they want to make a profit. So they will mark up the, the product over what it costs for them to make it. So this says, Jamie is selling her bows for 40% more than what it costs to make them, right? So we're going to increase by 40%. If she can make them for $5 a bow, how much does she sell them for? So we got to figure out well, what's 40% of $5. So we have 40% of $5, and that is $2. 40% of 5 is $2. So again, we have to answer the question that they asked us. How much does she sell them for? Well, she's going to take the $5 to make it plus the 40% increase of $2, and she's going to sell the bows for $7. Just be careful with these questions that you're answering the question that it asks, right? So if it says, how much is the markup? Well, that's $2. How much does she sell them for? Well, that's $7. So just make sure it's that some of them are multi-step, that you're doing all the steps required to answer the question. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Love ya. Bye.